What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And today, we are going to go ahead and have a look at the Good Great Perfect Presents OPTC Awards for 2021. This is a follow-on video from a video that I made a couple of weeks ago, um, where they wanted to get nominations for each individual category. In this video though, this is the official final selections for the winners of each of these categories. So all the previous nominations from the previous voting system, them are now separated into top three top four i'm not too sure how it's going to be uh figured out and we have to select the number one for each of these categories and that's what we're going to be doing today so make sure you go ahead down below in the video description i'll leave it in the pinned comments as well to come over here and just give your opinions give your opinions here and we'll see overall which is going to be the overall winner of each category now all of these winners will be announced on the official good great perfect episode uh for the end of year good great perfect episode Episode. So once that is live, I'll make a community post so you guys know when that is up. I'll also tweet about it, so make sure to follow me over on Twitter. But without further ado, let's jump into it and start things off. Let's get it. All right, so the first one here mentions the best super evolution in 2021. Now, honestly, this is kind of dumb because, I mean, if we, it, it really depends, right? Because if we're talking about the character that received the best overall buff... I'd say it'd have to be either Dex Sabo or Germa Double Six, and I think probably Germa is probably the best Super Evolution this year. However, Yamato is here, and I think just because Yamato is here, Yamato is probably going to win. I'm going Germa because that's the based pick, so let's move on to the second one. All right, so now we have the worst Super Evolution of 2021. So now this is a bit of an easier one, and I do think still at this point, Pudding probably will end up like winning this category for being the worst Super Evolution of 2021. Uh, I feel a little bit more inclined to choose someone else though. Now, out of these characters, obviously Global doesn't have Pudding 6+, Plus, so I haven't had an opportunity to use her, but just looking on paper, it's pretty much the same unit, right? Uh, Sanji actually did get a very good buff. They got rid of a lot of the really bad things about the unit. V2 Zoro, they didn't change much about the unit, but when I used him in content, he was actually pretty impressive, and there's a lot of good units you can use with him, so I actually do like him. V2 Mihawk, though, I really did not like using this unit. I'm not a big fan of Chain Captains to begin with, but Sanji was still actually pretty good. Uh, Mihawk really didn't change a lot of the things that were his, like, major issues, so in my opinion, I'm gonna choose Mihawk. I think Pudding probably will end up winning, but I'm gonna choose Mihawk. All right, best rare recruit of 2021. This is pretty good. All of these characters are like ridiculously, ridiculously powerful. Cy Robin, Rockstar, Killer, and Zoro, man. Like, ugh, they're all amazing. But you have to only pick one. That's the hard thing. Um, I think Robin is probably the one that would see the most play. But the thing is, Robin is probably the best, but Robin is also the most replaceable. So I think because of that, I'm not going to choose Robin. Rockstar's really good because he changes block orbs, he does attack down, he removes this re he removes barriers, I think, as well. Uh, he lo locks orbs as well. Um, Zoro special, uh, he gets rid of special bind, I think he's attack down as well, orb booster. I'm going with Killer, and the reason why I'm going with Killer is because there is like no characters that replace one for one what Killer does. I don't think there's another character in the game that does minus two cooldown, um, despair and paralysis removal but then he also gives you all your type slots matching as well like dude kill is amazing kill is actually really really good so he's going to be my choice best free to play character of 2021 this is honestly a pretty hard one as well now kizuna olin as of the recording of this video i'm literally re recording it the day before the kizuna comes out i think that kizuna olin is a very good choice she is ridiculous Kuja Pirates are also very good. Great Captain ability, great special ability, self-proccing conditional boost, very, very nice. Onigashi Maluffy, fantastic support unit, great special ability. Captain ability is a little lacking. Shiryu, great support effect, great special ability, great captain effect across the board there. I... I don't know. I use Kuja a lot more than I use Shiryu, but I think Shiryu on paper might be better. But I think, again, Shiryu is one of those units is a, that's a little bit more replaceable compared to Kuja Pirates, because Kuja Pirates, they give you a guaranteed conditional boost, and they give you an attack boost, and they do utility. I think I'm going to go with Kuja Pirates. The best artwork in OPTC. Here we have Final Tap Law, we have Goldie, Roger, V2, Kaido, and Zoro Juro. Okay, immediately getting rid of Zoro Juro, getting rid of Final Tap Law. It's going to be between Roger and Kaido. 
I gotta go with my boy. I gotta go with Roger. He's too cool. He's too cool. Wow, this is a lot of effort. So shout out to Pappy for providing this one. Dude, he actually got the gifts of all of the artworks here. The best ink effects. This is great. I'm really happy that this is here. So, that you, so no matter what, even if you don't have the character, you can determine from these ones which of them are your favorites. So overall, which is the best ink effect in the game? I think you have to go with Moria. He's my favorite. I think he looks the best. I'm not going to spend my ink bottles on the character because, I don't know, I don't really use Moria as often as, as some of these guys, but Moria's ink effect is so, so good. I love, I love all of these. The most overrated legend in the game. This is kind of interesting. Final Tap Luffy. That's a very interesting one. Luffy and Sanji. V2 Kaido? Who puts V2 Kaido as an overrated legend? He's definitely well rated. He's a fantastic unit. And Raju. Um, honestly, I don't see anyone overrating Raju. I think a lot of people like Raju, but I don't see anyone just say straight off the bat like, oh, Raju is like the best legend in the game when she's obviously not. I think it might be Luffy and Sanji. I think a lot of people really like this unit, but he's like not that great, honestly. Um, Final Tap Luffy is pretty close to that. I'd say like, this is my first pick, but Final Tap Luffy is very close behind. That's my opinion on that one. The most underrated legend in the game. This is also a pretty interesting list. And I think all of these are quite deserving for the most underrated legend. Like these are characters that not a lot of people talk about these days. I mean, especially for Japan players, not a lot of people are talking about Final Tap Kid or like these are relatively older legends on Japan now nowadays, you know, these days. Whitebeard vs. Shanks, especially on release, a lot of people were not excited for that unit at all just because we're like, oh, he's just a Psy and Int captain with one class and they just seem very basic. But when you use them, they're really good. Uh, Mori is another one and Mori is an interesting one as well because not only is he number one a really good character in all facets Super tight captain ability special ability pirate rumble support effect literally every part of this unit is amazing But the thing as to why this character is kind of considered is underrated is because it's Moria and not a lot of people like Moria as an actual character in the one piece story I have to go with Moria here because I think that is the one that I would pick, honestly. But I think all of these are probably considered underrated under... In most, most people's circumstances, I feel this is probably a pretty good list of underrated legends. The most improved legend. So this award goes to the most improved legend. This unit may have not seen a lot of use or playability in the past, but as time goes on, the unit has seen an increase in play and value. I think a lot of people understood the value of Shirohoshi Manchuri straight off the bat. I'm not going to regard that one. I think, and I think Sugar's been really good since release as well. Like no one has straight up been like, oh, you know, Sugar finally got good. Like no, Sugar's always been a good unit. Shirohoshi Manchuri have always been a good unit. I think it's definitely between, no, it's it's definitely Germa. Like it's 100% Germa. Favorite game mode or content we have garp challenge kizuna clash it says it says kizuna or pirate alliance kizuna pirate rumble and treasure map now you know what over the past few weeks i would have said pirate alliance kizuna hands down no questions asked however over the past couple of weeks i personally have found pirate rumble to be my favorite game mode in the game i think i am going to select pirate rumble at the moment but I think if you're talking about normal content, yeah, Kizuna Clash, Pirate Alliance, Kizuna Clash is by far my favorite. But Pirate Rumble is slowly becoming one of my favorites. The best new update feature. Let's have a look here. We have the candy stacking and candy storage, Pirate Alliance, Power Up System Overhaul, and the Stamina Meat Stamina Storage. Oh, I forgot about that. That was also introduced this year. Well, it's like, it's like someone asks you the question, right? Is like... You can only choose one of these updates to keep and the rest of it goes back to its old feature. Which one would you pick? I mean, for quality of life, I think the power-up system probably is the best new functionality. I think it has to be. It has to be. Though, it really sucks not choosing Pirate Alliance because I really do love Pirate Alliance. But at the same time, like, this update is ridiculous. The quality of life is just way too good for this one. You have to pick this one. The most anticipated character or feature. This award goes to the most anticipated character or feature that you want to see in 2022. This is either for quality of life, game mode update, or a character that you want released in 2022. Funnily enough, if you guys go back and watch my previous video where I talked about the things that I wanted to see in the game, the character that I put there was V2 Crocodile. Guess what happened? We got a V2 Crocodile, so guess what? It is what it is. Um, new game mode, Luffy vs. Kaido unit, Roger vs. Whitebeard unit, and treasure map, revamp, and overhaul. You know, it's actually pretty funny that we see the TM overhaul right here, straight after that last treasure map that we had. I do not blame people for putting that in here. That last treasure map was awful. Um, but which one would I pick? Uh, well, to be honest, a Luffy versus 
Kaido and uh, Roger vs. Whitebeard are inevitably going to be in the game. There is no doubt in my mind that those will inevitably be characters in the game. As to when, we have no idea, of course. So I feel like choosing those, eh. But then again, this is not like thinking, uh, this is not saying which one do you want to come. This is like, what do you want to see in the game? And honestly, the thing that would get me the most hype would be a Roger vs. Whitebeard. That would 100% get me the most hype. Uh, that was like probably, it's probably the most hype moment that's ever happened in the anime's history up until this point. At least for me. I think it's a ridiculously cool scene and would love to see that character in the game. So we'll hope, hopefully that character comes soon. I mean, it'd be nice if it's New Year's, uh, though we'll have to wait and see. The worst legend of the year, man. Imagine winning an award for the worst legend of the year. Yeah, imagine that. Banner of the year. Yo, okay, this is a big one right here. Let's have a Captain Cook. We have the Ace versus a Kaino Sugo Fest, the Onigashima Trio Sugo Fest, and the World Crew Sugo Fest, and then the Pre Global 6th Anniversary Sugo Fest. I think that the best overall Sugo Fest probably was the Pre Global. The most hyped one was definitely this one. The World Cruise was insane. Pre Global 6th Annie is the best Sugo. Moment of the year. For the best moment of the year, through the ups and downs of OPTC, there will always be a moment for that year that shines brightest. 11.2 update producer video, the one that happened most recently, introducing the brand new update with all the awesome functionalities, was a fantastic producer video by Yoshi-san. Next, we have the announcement of the global and the JP Sync schedule, which also was pretty interesting. We have the Roger and Odin release, World Cruise event, and the Yamato release. I mean, no doubt, it's... <laughs> Roger and Odin release was probably the pinnacle of One Piece Treasure Cruise up until this point. At least, since I've been a player in the game, I haven't seen an event as hype as when Roger and Odin released. Uh, I guess the only thing in my eyes that kind of came close to it was when Lucy released on Global for the first time. That was also an incredibly popular release. However, I do feel like this was probably more hype. It, nothing gets hype, more hype than uh, Roger and Odin. All right, now we have the award for the best legend that had released from December 1st, 2020 till December 18th, 2021. The legend has stood above the rest as the number one legend in the game. Ace and Sabo, Ace versus Akainu, Goldie Roger, and Yamato. Boy oh boy, this is a tough decision. And honestly, this honest, uh, yeah, I, this is easily the, 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 the top four best legends in the game. I, I don't have any discrepancies or qualms about this one. It's not Ace Sabo, sorry Ace Sabo, you're getting booted out. It's definitely between Ace Akainu, Yamato, and Roger. And if you guys know me and how my tier lists work, I gotta pick him. I gotta pick my boy, Goldie Roger. I gotta do I gotta do it. And with that, that concludes the OPTC award show for 2021. As I said, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description. And that link will link you over to this Google document so you can go ahead and leave all of your votes and nominations for each of these categories. And remember that this is going to be officially revealed on the Good Great Perfect podcast episode to conclude the end of the year, which is going to be in like mid-December-ish sometime. So definitely look look out for that one hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video